whole time with my machine. <laughs> He's, we want to get LCEC and get the power back on as soon as we can. So the yes. road's got to get cleared. Yes, Mark, I understand, and and you're trying to do something nice there, but but there there's much more storm coming, and you are in the eye, which seems calm now, but it is going to get nasty where you are. It is not safe to be outside at this moment. Well, I'm in a 16,000 pound machine covered up pressurized and I see people running around on bicycles that concern me more yeah that <laughs> I would agree with I that. agree yes that, that's very very concerning um, your home is fortified you can go home and hunker down there and be safe yeah, well, I already lost the shingles on my house all my shingles are gone on the house uh, pretty bad out here uh, yeah get a crew out here you might want to, I'm more worried about working my way up to where the migrants um, facility is where a lot of the workers stay at that stayed in the RVs that didn't leave. Oh, right, boy. Yeah. Boy, we really pray for them. We hope they are well. But, Mark, we're also very concerned about you. We really don't want anyone out that. in this weather. And I, I can sure, assure you that emergency officials don't want you out in it either. If something happens, they cannot come to you. So please, please get yourself to a safe location if you would. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Yes, this is uh, Matt Devitt. I, I hey, wanted Matt, to. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Um, hey, I want well, to tell you. I want to tell you real viewers, quick. From now on, hurricane season, we need to just go straight to you and forget the rest of them. Dude. You are on the money. Oh, I, I pray that very kind of you. But <laughs> hey, your safety is paramount here, man. I, I want you to be safe here. Because, yes, you just went through the first eye wall, and right now you're in the calm. But the problem is you're going to get a double whammy here coming up of a greater surge because it's coming in from the Gulf. The wind direction is going to change. And we also are going to see another round of 100-mile-per-hour winds. So, uh, you know, I, I just can't stress right, well, enough, man. I hope you're... let me tell this guy you're... in the bicycle he needs to seek cover, and I'll head back to the house. Okay, yes. yeah, just be Thank safe. You, just Mark. be safe for us. We, we just, we care about you, man. Be, be safe. We want to make sure everybody no, I appreciate is... appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. We want to make sure everybody is here to talk about this storm afterwards and doing everything they can to stay safe while we get through the worst of it, which we are in right now. Yeah. So we have some other v videos that we want to show you. We want to take you to Cape Coral to the Rubicon Canal. And uh, Philip Fryman is the person who s took this video. And you can see the palm trees blow in there. And they are, there's so much concern mm. for uh, a surge there. You can see... Uh, the waterway behind this area where he shot this video. Um, he seems to be um, in kind of a protected area where right. he's shooting this from. And we're not exactly sure what time this was shot, but um, there you see a look at the Rubicon Canal in Cape Coral. Yep, let's head over to Parker Lakes. Oh, that video right there, that last one was shot at 240. This, um, okay, this, this one here is 130. Is this Parker Lakes that we're talking about? Rubicon okay, Canal. Rubicon Canal. Okay, let's take a look at the Parker Lakes video again. That's devastating. Mm. Um, we're seeing a lot of it. Um, more and more people are telling us that pool screens are gone, yeah. pool cages are gone. We've seen lanai's gone, and we're so thank you for sending it. We're so sorry. We're glad you're safe in your house. But uh, there's going to be a lot of that. Um, so Parker Lakes down off Gladiolus in South Fort Myers, and they uh, lost their power there at 1.30 as well. So mm -hmm. if you're in that section of, of Lee County, South Fort Myers, you, uh, you may ex have experienced that as I well. I think a lot of folks probably have in a lot of right. different areas. Right. Let's check back in um, with Matt now. And, no. you know, this thing... We're just listening to it. it. You know, everybody's having the same experience. We're having it now where it, it seems like every thought is interrupted by a sound. By a gust of wind, you hope that your house is fine. You hope that your family is fine. You get a break for a bit, and then you get another strong gust of wind. Yep. And just hang tight, okay? Hang tight. We got, we're about halfway through, depending on your location. To, or, uh, now, for others, Arcadia, DeSoto County, you are just starting. Mm -hmm. But closer to the interstate, we're about halfway through. Right. Okay, okay, so we got we got another half, but I just caution that this one, the first round was primarily the strong wind. The next one, the winds are going to change. They're going to come from the Gulf, and you will have a double whammy of the strong, damaging winds, but also the surge. The maximum yeah. surge event is coming up. Mm -hmm. Now, for Collier County, that could be the exception as you will be approaching a lower tide ahead, but we will still 
want to caution you about your surge levels as well. But for Lee, Charlotte, Sarasota County, we are starting to evolve into the surge time frame. Okay, so once the eye passes by, the motion around, and we're going to see that as well at, at Wink. Our mm -hmm. high tide is about 7 o'clock. It's about 3.39, and by that point, it would be, in theory, our worst-case scenario. It looks like we are seeing a new pulse on radar. If we could punch up uh, one of the radar composites, go full. It looks like here around downtown Fort Myers, we're seeing another pulse and band a very strong wind mm -hmm. which has originated in cape coral and it looks like it's going right up the calusa hatchie and if we could let's punch up weather two weather two and that is the system that i'm operating right now and this is going to be a very fierce line and so same deal chris and lois uh I, this will be very similar to the round that we had about 30 to 40 minutes ago Iona, that is where it begins. It races past Southeast Cape Coral, goes all the way into North Fort Myers, extending to Magnolia Landing, and it looks like also Babcock Ranch has seen an extension of the eye wall. It's a broken portion of it, but strong, strong winds, potentially over 100 miles an hour, just passed by Babcock Ranch. I hope everybody is doing okay, hunkering down. I hope you're safe and not injured. And this is just the nature of what we're going to be dealing with as the diameter of the eye wall is about 20 to as much as 40 miles wide. And look at, guys, what we have in the Gulf. For the radio listeners, we have a massive area of dark red, and that is the western part of the eye wall. And that looks to be about a two to three hour wind event. The one okay. that we've been dealing with recently, about one to two, the other western side does look a little bit bigger, <clears throat> excuse me, between about one to three hours. Okay, so now Sanibel, as I'm looking at this, Sanibel is about to get into the more intense of the second side of the eye wall now. They were in the eye for a long period of time, and now it looks like they could be starting to get very soon into that tougher and you, weather. And you can see on radar the rotation around it, that mm -hmm. west wind. So they already have surge, and what we're going to start to see for Sanibel is an additional pileup of water, and that could legitimately hit over eight feet plus. And just to be clear, they're still dealing with the first round of water. It's not exactly. like this right. is round two after a drain. It's This right. is round two. Yeah, okay. exactly right. So we are going to start to see some surge build up as well for Fort Myers Beach, as well as sections all the way up the Caloosahatchee. you got to be on alert even for Olga, Alva, Fort Myers Shores. You will gradually start to see that water level rise if you haven't seen it already as we go from now and all the way towards sunset. Okay, um, I think that we are, do we have this uh, phoner coming up, Lenny, in the booth? I'm just asking about Elaine, is she with us right now? Okay, okay, so we're still waiting. We're trying to make some connections with some viewers on some of the islands and different areas that have already been affected so we can get a, an eyewitness account for you to paint you a better picture of what's happening around our community. I know that you're hearing what's happening immediately near you, but it does benefit all of us sure. to hear what other places have gone through or what they're going through right now. So, no, so we're trying to establish a call on Fort Myers Beach. It would not... Let's take a... Okay, live look now at I-75 at Jacaranda. We're heading further <laughs> north as we take these pictures one after the Oof. other and look at how bad that is. And that's even further north, 30 miles or so, 25 miles north of the last live picture that we were looking at. And man, but you it can just, just see the power of the storm. It just gives you the a picture of what the size of, of this storm yes. is. Here we are in Fort Myers and all the way up at mile marker 193, okay, uh, 50, 50 miles from right. from our our exit here at Fort Myers at Palm Beach Boulevard and they're dealing with this too so it just gives you an, a picture of the sheer size of this storm and I've been seeing new videos uh, meteorologist Greg rules done a fantastic job and, as well as our viewers sending us your observations also telling us that you're doing fine and and if you do have any injuries or anything like that, please relay that to us. We will try to help you out when it is safe. Right now, it is not safe to venture out 
and we just got to hunker down. I've been getting new video in of a lot of manufactured homes mm. that have been shredding apart, and then the winds of 100 launching parses, uh, sure. parts sure. of the manufactured home down the street and hitting power lines as well in the process. Knocking out power. Yeah. And we have yeah. so many of those communities in this area and so many of them that are been, been in the path of the wind that we've specifically seen so far. All right, I believe we've established contact with Elaine on Fort Myers Beach. And Elaine, first of all, thank you. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay, and you're doing okay? Yes, we're doing quite well. My husband uh, built a beautiful home for me, and unfortunately, this flood is really doing a number on the outside. Yeah, Elaine, we're, we were told that you have water all the way up to the top of the stairs, up to yes, your... Yes, uh, because I got a foyer. We have uh, stairs that go down into the garage, and that's and all the drywall on the side broke in, and now it's just rushing in, and I'm just wondering how much longer the surge is going to come because I don't want it to be upstairs in the house. Okay, so you're on your second story right now. You're on the yeah, second floor. Yeah, I'm on a pile home. Okay, so she's on San Carlos Island. Um, yes. Elaine, I, I wish I had some better news for you. This is, this is Matt Devitt. Uh, hang yes, tight I'm... for me. This is going to be a slow moving storm yeah. and the wind is going to oh. continue to come in from the Gulf and pile right. up. Now granted, you are seeing your high tide about now and that's why you're seeing the levels oh. that you are. But the problem is, even as you approach low tide, we're still having mm -hmm. that strong wind wrapping around Ian and forcing mm -hmm. all that water up into San Carlos Island. Boy, is it ever. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen it. So many cars have floated by. I mean, furniture. I mean, it's just, I've never in my life. I've lived here a long time. And um, this is the first. And I'm kind of glad I'm here because... I'm ready to at least get this a little together uh, as far as rinsing down my foyer so it doesn't smell because there's gas due to the fact my car was in the garage. Right. Oh, gasoline. Right. 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 So there are yeah. other, so other it's people. It's kind of a little smelling. Yeah. So okay. there are other people. Just, just be, you know, make sure you stay safe until you get the all clear because, uh, you know, the weather, the nasty weather is not over, as Matt said. This I know. I've been watching and observing, and um, I'm, I'm doing more laughing than crying because uh, you have to laugh because this is just the most insane thing I've ever experienced. And I've been through I've born and raised in Miami, so I've been through a lot of hurricanes. Elena, I, I would like to tell you one thing, okay? You're basically yeah. at the halfway point, okay? Halfway? You're halfway, so hang on tight, okay? You got one more half and then we can clean up tomorrow. So it's gonna, okay, so hang on tight. We're, we're about 50% through for your location. So you got another 50% and then this uh, this troublemaker will be out of the area, okay? Well, okay, so uh, hopefully I don't expect any more surge and I'll be okay up top in my well, house. The, the surge levels will still continue to pile up, but your saving grace at the moment is that Fort Myers Beach is peaking now with high tide. Gradually, as we go deeper into the evening, we will be approaching lower tide. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to see surge, but that may knock off about a foot or two of the, sur the maximum surge potential. No, I'll take that. All right. All That's right. For sure. Elaine, well, thank please stay you safe. Yeah. Glad uh, you have we are. No problem there. It's just I'm just I'm concerned of uh, how much more is coming and how much i'm putting everything up on on everything because yeah that's how much the water is in yeah, yeah. but Ms. thank you thank you for listening oh, thank you for calling answer my you. question and we appreciate and, uh, it stay safe stay so glad she has an upstairs yes absolutely I mean, that's that's so, the vertical so evacuation right we've now. talked about that a lot today because normally you don't have to do that unless there's stir a surge like this or if there's some sort right. of water inundation like this you really don't have to do the vertical evacuation otherwise and before the storm we had literally noted that there was the opportunity for life threatening storm surge and literally her life was being threatened by rising water so right. she had to get to that second floor mm -hmm. and that is why people evacuated 
in the areas that we're told to sure. evacuate. Yeah. Right. We're okay, taking we're... a look at our parking lot again in Billy Creek and right near the uh, Palm Beach Boulevard in the river as we watch the water come up. We can still see the Billy Creek Bridge over on the top right of the screen, so that's a good sign, but the water is clearly in our parking lot and it's uh, up, it's up a good foot in our parking lot, foot and a half, just in the flat part of the lot. Yeah, we can't see the docks across Billy Creek anymore and now we're looking at the, the area toward Palm Beach Boulevard. That's Palm, that's Palm Beach Boulevard. Yep, mm -hmm. there's water there. Yep. The oh, the wind is blowing the it. Wind okay, is blowing. the wind okay. is blowing our yeah. camera, so hopefully we'll be able to hang on here and we'll still have a view from our tower cam. But right now I look at the white caps on Billy's Creek. You don't see that ever, no. ever. Um, but the docks are, are covered across the way. And there's, you see the Billy Creek Bridge uh, along Palm Beach Boulevard headed toward downtown. And the water's much higher around some of those homes, not all of the homes in mm -hmm. Dean Park, but some of those homes have water uh, much higher, if not too high already. Um, different again than when we first started looking at it about 45 minutes ago. And or now so. you're looking in the direction of Caloosahatchee and across the river would be North Fort Myers. Um, the wind blowing this around, so we're at the mercy of the wind. Boy, are we ever, mm -hmm. all of us in southwest Florida right now who are going through these, these heavy bands hey, of rain with Hurricane Ian. I think I'm hearing the transformer pop. Uh, can you tan the, uh, pan the camera down? If we can. Yeah, look at that now. That's a better look at Dean Park. Go there. back to the right a little bit, buddy. Yeah, the transformer's been popping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, as, as we as we talk about, we're talking about all this water coming up, we're getting a, a boil water notice emergency message from the town of Fort Myers Beach. This is not a surprise. Utilities department um, today at 225, they lost power to their water pump stations. So as a precaution, they're advising you if you're in that utility area of Fort Myers Beach, boil your water for all uses until further notice. It may be difficult for some people who sure. don't have any power, but uh, hopefully you have your supply of bottled water mm -hmm. um, that you can use for, for drinking and cooking or whatever else you might need because the water right now is not safe uh, for and those people with the Fort Myers Beach utilities. And even if you have enough in the house, use it for washing, especially your hands so that you might tend to put near your mouth. Um, don't waste it. Make sure you have enough for drinking, but use it, use it a little bit to clean with. And I'm, I'm looking at Dean Park here as we look live on this uh, picture. More and more of the houses seem to be uh, ha having, I'm going to guess, have a water problem. There's a swimming pool we kind of watch at the top middle of your screen, and part of it is because it's raining so hard and it's so windy it's hard to see, but the water definitely looks like it's up to the pool level there, so, and it's just making it under the Billy Creek Bridge now, so we're definitely up from even a few minutes ago. Yeah, Matt, so many people are asking about the duration. I know you've just talked about it, that we have another a half to go yet. We were talking to um, Elaine on S San Carlos Island, but if you're in downtown Fort Myers or uh, areas of Charlotte County, can you give people an estimate of, you know, how long is this terrible, nasty weather going to be over them? Absolutely. And I think the best way to think about it is the storm right now is heading northeast. Okay, so I'm going to split a line right through it. Okay, so this is essentially your halfway point. So right now, and, and I have the middle point in the eye. So right now, you could argue that Fort Myers, as well as Cape Coral, you're about 40 to 50% through it. You're about 40 to 50% through it. But we had been noting that this is a long duration event. It's a big storm, and it is not one of the faster moving storms. So for, I would say, Rotunda, Englewood, Boca Grande, Pine Island, Let's take you even down the coast more. Fort Myers, Cape Coral, Bonita Springs, Naples, all of the spots that I had mentioned, you're at the halfway point. So hang on tight, okay? We got a couple more hours. Now, if you are, let's say, to the east of this line, and my line for the radio viewers is from the Mayaka River to Mat Lachey to Bonita Springs, for those areas east, and especially Arcadia, like for example, you guys are only about a quarter of the way through. So location is gonna mean everything. And then even Lake Placid, you're only about 10% through. So we just need to continue to mentally prepare ourselves and also 
make sure to pace yourself. Just pace yourself here. We're going to get through it. We are going to get through Ian. Eventually, it's going to be pushing inland. The eye right now, guys, I would say it is around Boquilla, and it is around and on its way to Burnt Storm Arena. So the eye, Boquilla, to Burnt Storm Arena, Pirate Harbor, it is not impossible to see a little bit of sun in between all the passing clouds. Guys? All right, and if you're pacing yourself, don't go out in it, but just enjoy it for a minute and exhale because the halfway mark, this is a lot. I mean, getting to the halfway mark is an accomplishment and just let yourself breathe and we'll get to the second half. We, we all want it to be over, don't we? We oh, all yeah. want it to be over. We all want everyone to be safe and we will get through this together. We know how hard it is, how scary it is. Uh, you know, people are saying they've never been so scared. We understand. Mm -hmm. sure. It is scary, but we are all here. We're all going to get through this and we're all going to get through it together. We're going to go now to Michael, who is in Rotunda West. He's on the phone with us. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. How are you guys doing? We're doing well. How are you How are doing? You? We understand you lost some trees. Uh... Oh, yes. it's um, So I'm in Rotunda West. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, we can't even, like, step outside the door right now. Um, it pretty much sounds like there is a freight train um coming through mm -hmm. um yeah we had a tree fall that took out our our um lanai mm -hmm. um and we live on a canal and the two people that live across from us um both lost their decks okay um their ducks the decks just uh, floated away okay so you uh, yeah and our next door neighbor lost his lanai as well um but right now it is it's so bad here and it's been relentless for two straight hours right yeah, yeah we're looking at some of the uh, wink doppler 3x right now and we're seeing some of the nasty weather uh, near you in charlotte county and there's more to come unfortunately yeah <laughs> we've been waiting for that eye we were <laughs> kind of excited so maybe we could go out and take the tree off of my car uh, oh, I think, yeah, well, I think I would wait. I would wait for that, but um, i was so sorry to hear that you have damage at your home, but we are so glad to hear that you're safe and in your home. In yes, we're definitely hunkered down, and, um, you know, we don't have power here as well as um, probably everybody else around us. Um, but it does sound um, uh, just like a freight train, and the canal looks like an ocean. It has white caps on a canal. <laughs> so that's not a direct access canal. It's it's just a water, a freshwater waterway. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the it's one of the smaller ones here in Rotonda, and they did finally open, um, I guess, like the uh, little levee to let some water come out because it was starting to come up um, a little bit higher. Okay. But. Um, I could try, let me, I'll, you know what, I'll just peek out the front door and maybe you can even hear how. Um, no, 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 no please, please don't, don't do, do that, that, Michael. We don't, we don't, don't want you to, we hey, don't Michael? want you to do that. Hey, Michael, we might have uh, this is yet. Matt Devitt. Um, in Rotunda, hey, the other eye wall is about to move in. So I know you were initially hit with the eastern eye wall, where the western eye wall is literally on your doorstep. So you're seeing, I know oh, okay. the, the calmer conditions now, it's going to go from zero to literally 100 very shortly. So, yeah, let's just hunker yeah, down, well, stay I inside. I think it's pretty much 100 right now here. Okay, all right. Well, it probably went zero to 100 real fast. So, yeah, yeah just uh, yeah. just stay in the interior and just ride it out. We're almost through it, okay? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. And um, we're... Uh all right, well, thank we've you. lost power, so we're listening to you. Okay, we all right, we appreciate it. We'll try to be as descriptive as we can so you know what's going on. Thank you so much, Michael. Stay safe. All right, thank you guys very much. We love you. I love you guys, love too. You too. Wink News anchor Nicole Gabe is here now with some brand new video to show us. Nicole. Yeah, uh, one of my friends, actually, who lives in the Oasis building, so that is right across the street from Wink News, is in Oasis. If we could take this video full screen, I'll go ahead and press play. I want you to take a close look at the clothing, though. You slowly see it swaying back 